A blind hem is great when you need it. So you can go ahead and select fabric and technique number five out of the sewing advisor right here. And it'll take you right to the stitch we need. We're on stitch 16 in the A or utility stitches. It tells us to put foot D on. That's the blind hem foot. Let me talk about the blind hem foot here. It actually has two different size toes and the small toe here on the left is actually higher up than the big toe on the right. So they're actually kind of two levels. And that is perfect because our fabric will also be folded. So there is more fabric on the left than there is on the right. So when you do a blind hem, you'll have, you will have folded up and pressed the new hem into place. You will have overlocked this edge. You could pink it like my fabric is, or you could even tuck that fabric in for a small little turned under fold as well and then we're turning our fabric back. So let's just go ahead, we'll do that there, and then turn it back so we can make a new fold. This we just wanna kind of finger press in, not usually an iron, we don't wanna crease it, but you just wanna get it to flatten out. Well, as you position this, you're gonna position the fold of the fabric right in between, right where the line is of the two toes. As you lower the presser foot down, touch this two times, one, two, then you can move your fabric left or right. And as you notice, your needle is ready to, well actually, once you take a stitch, then it will go ahead and jump into the fold. When it jumps here, that is where you're gonna see, did I get enough fabric in the little bite? That's gonna be the blind hem part of this stitch. What we're looking for is consistency when you're done. So let's open it up. Ta -da. So that's what it looks like here. And then if we have just, oh, perfect. <laughs> if we have just the small little tick marks, that's what is ideal. If you have some that are a little bit bigger and some that are a little bit smaller, then you need to work on how you guide the fabric. Now, if you missed all these little bites completely when you went through here, either adjust your fabric down here in the sewing advisor or just go ahead and take your width a little bit bigger, like one touch. Even though a half a millimeter doesn't seem like a lot, it will once you get that needle to swing over just enough to bite the smallest amount of fabric. The smaller the fabric, the smaller the little mark is out front. But when you match your thread, even if these are a little bit bigger, you will find you will not see your blind hem at all.